I realised that the smallest incident turned into a huge crisis for Mum. Slow down! Stop being so hyper! One minute Mum's a punch bag for the kids, and the next minute she's aggressive and she's in their face. Matthew, sit down! No! It's hard to get them to all listen and do what I want when there's one over there and there's one over there. In your seat now! You know what? You go find your hind in a corner now. You're the one I walked out and caught. Lisa's already got one in the corner, and the other two are just egging her on. Okay. Well, find your top of the corner. Darren, turn around. Hey, mustard, where are you? Matthew decided he wanted some mustard, and she wouldn't allow him to get anything for himself, an eight-year-old boy. No, because you don't know how to listen. Look at me. This is not funny, and I'm not playing. Do you understand? Go find a corner and no. put your nose in it. So Matthew ends up in the naughty corner, and Darren, who's just got out from the corner, is starting trouble again by sneaking him chicken nuggets, hoping that Mum won't find out. Leave him alone. There's definitely a case of Lisa feeling that the children are on one side and she's on another side. Go to your room. No. No, you had your opportunity. Go to your room. Go to your room. No, OK. Sometimes I have to call John at work if they're acting up too bad where I cannot control them. You need to talk to Matthew. He won't stand in the corner. I've been trying to get him to stand in the corner for eight minutes. Lisa relies on John, and she uses John as a threat. Talk to John, or he's going to come home. Your best bet is to talk to him on the phone. If you hang up on him, he's going to come home, and you're going to be in big trouble. This is the quickest way for Mum to undermine herself. Call John and ask him to come home because the kids are not behaving themselves. Matthew, you're going to have one of your nice conversations tonight when John gets home. No! Joseph was not given in to the naughty zone. Oh, don't worry! And then all of a sudden, he peed in the middle of the floor like a dog. I want an apology, Joe. <laughs> no! I want an apology. 